Let's look at one of the CSS properties that allows us to decorate our text. We'll be looking at the text decoration property. The text decoration property allows us to set the appearance of decorative lines on text. We often use text decoration, which is shorthand for the text decoration line, which sets the kind of decoration used, such as underline or line through. The text decoration line can take properties such as none, underline, overline, or line through. We can also set the text decoration color. This obviously sets the color of the text decoration. Then we have text decoration style. This sets the style of the line used for decoration. We can use things like wavy, dashed, or dotted lines. Other values are double, inherit, initial, or revert. And finally, we have text decoration thickness, which sets the thickness of the line used for the decoration. The values will be a numeric value or you can use a percentage value. Let's see how we can apply some of these to an actual web page. Here's the web page that I'm going to be using. I simply have an unordered list with some classes assigned to the text. And this is what it looks like so far in the browser. Let's go into our CSS file and we'll go ahead and make some rules. Let's target the list item that has a class of underline. What I'd like to do here is I would like to just underline the text. In order to do this, we will use the text decoration line property and I'll go ahead and specify underline. And if I save my page and we refresh, you're going to see that the text is underlined. Now it is worth mentioning that when you use the underline on text, it is going to resemble a link. So this is not advisable that you underline text. It becomes confusing for your users since they will more than likely want to click on this. And as you can see, this isn't a link, so it causes a lot of confusion. If you want to draw attention to something, don't use a straight line like this. And I'll show you in just a moment some options that we have. Let's target some of our other elements. So I have a list item with a class of overline. We'll go ahead and we'll add our text decoration line. And let's set this to overline. As you can see, this creates a line on top of the text. Next, we have line through. And if we use the line through value, you'll see it's going to strike through the text. So this could be useful if you put some text on your page and then you want to add a correction, or if you were building a website that had prices and you wanted to show that the prices had been discounted, the line through or strike through method is useful in those scenarios. We can also do things like control the color and the thickness of the line. Let's target the li item that has a class of dotted and for this I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to specify that I want the text decoration line to be underlined and then we're going to add some additional properties so we are going to add the color this is going to be text decoration color and let's make this navy blue then I'm going to add my text decoration style and for this we're going to change the style to dotted. You can see that I have the choices of dash, dotted, double, solid, or wavy. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to specify thickness. So let's use text decoration thickness. This is a newer CSS property, so if you use this in Atom, you'll see that the property name is somewhat grayed out and you don't get the tool hints when you write it. It still works in all of our modern browsers, but some of the older browsers don't support the thickness property. So just keep that in mind and make sure you test if you're going to use this. Instead of having to write all of these properties, it is much more common that you will use the shorthand method of applying text decoration. In order to do that, we will simply write text decoration. Once we have text decoration specified, we can go ahead and we can just write, for instance, underline. If I do this, you will see that the wavy text now shows with an underline. Now, if I want to augment this line and change the color of it, I will just add on to the text decoration property. 
before I close my semicolon, I'm going to write underline. I'll write the color of teal, and let's go ahead and specify the style of wavy. If we save now and we look at this in the browser, you will see how the line has been transformed to a wavy line. Obviously, it's much easier to specify your line in this way rather than specifying each of the properties individually. So this is a more common way that you will target your items. It is possible that you can actually add multiple lines to an element. So let's target the element that I've assigned a class name of multi to. And what we'll do here is we're going to specify text decoration. We'll use our shorthand property that I just explained to you. And we are going to specify the color of indigo. We're going to specify overline and underline and line through. So we're going to assign all of these properties to one specific element. I'll also define a thickness of three pixels. Now I'm going to add my semicolon. If we save this element on the page and come to our browser and refresh, you'll see how all of those styles are being applied. Now we could also add the style of the line itself. So if I wanted to control the text decoration style, I could add double to the values, and now you can see how the lines double up. Clearly, this isn't terribly useful, but I did want to show you that it is possible to add a multitude of the text decoration styles to one element. As I mentioned before, please be careful using the underline feature, as users are going to think that this is a link. If you feel like you must draw attention to an element, instead of using a solid underline, try using the dotted, dashed, or wavy style of underline, or even if you used double with a less thick line and maybe didn't use all of these. Let's get rid of our line through and our overline, and we look at our page, it looks like this. So although this could be a little bit confusing, it's not as confusing as a straight underline. So please do be aware of the ramifications of adding underlines to any text. It can be confusing, but this property is a method that you can use to be able to control the decoration of text.